morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm just about to head up this morning and do a full body workout in my apartment gym. I love it, just focusing on strength training like on my own, like once a week. And then usually obviously like at Orange Theory and stuff, we do the weights and everything. But the other day we focused heavily on legs. So today I'll probably do a little more arms, um, but kind of just like a full body strength workout. And then like 15 minutes of the Stairmaster to start and everything. This set is from Set Active. It's so freaking comfy. You guys know how much I love their workout sets. And this is the sport body material. It's like one of my favorites to do um, any strength training in or like cardio. It's so comfy and it like stays up really well. I honestly would compare these to the Lulu leggings. I think I like these more. Hot take, but they're so cute. Also, I've been meaning to ask you guys, do you like to see my workouts um, with like the text on screen of the different exercises and reps I do? Or do you just like to see the montage of it and then have everything, all the info and like the weights that I did, the exercises, the reps, the sets, all of that in the description? Which do you prefer? Or if you want to see like a voiceover of me explaining what I do, either or. Like I'm totally up for anything. I just want to know which is more beneficial and entertaining for you guys. So let me know. But we're going to head on up there and then I'll see you guys a bit later. that I've done in a long time. Felt so good to get that in. But now I'm just making my little post-workout drink. I always use these um, hydrate powders. This is from the brand Coffee Over Cardio. It's like one of my favorite electrolyte powders to use. And then I mix half of that with half of my greens. And then it's just like good for muscle recovery and just like overall Hydration, obviously in conjunction with water and everything, but a little more. I'm like almost out of these. And then we'll just froth it up. So is the scary part. If it doesn't go everywhere. from Aldi that I want to unbox before I hop into the shower. So, you can tell I have like no patience. I'm excited for this. This is everything that I got during their Black Friday sale. So I'll try everything on. But I'll do that after I shower. I just want to see everything first. I thought the box was going to be a little bigger. So at first I was concerned that I was missing some things. But it looks like everything was delivered. Oh my god. Okay. Perfect. Got some socks. I love these crew socks. These are so good um, just to wear like with little Ugg boots in the winter time and also just for like a workout or lounging around because I love to lounge. <laughs> and then I got some pants. I'll try all of these on for you guys in just a second. I just wanted to unbox everything first. And then these crop sweatshirts. This is literally the same sweatshirt but a white version and then a black one as well because I feel like I can never have enough cropped little crew necks. I'm always throwing them on over things. And then one of my favorite bras. Another one of my favorite bras. This is actually the airlift bra and then the one I just showed you guys is the delight bra. This is one of more of like a lounge bra or if you're doing like very light Pilates. And then lastly, one of my favorite long sleeve shirts. So. I'll show you guys everything, but I'm just gonna finish up drinking my greens, make some breakfast, and shower up. 
and then we'll do a little try on haul. I'm gonna try on all the aloe stuff that I picked up. So first thing is this bra, it's the Delight bra and it's one of my favorites just because it's so soft and like one of the perfect bras that you can just throw under a sweatshirt or lounging around. So I paired it with these dreamy wide leg pants which honestly might be one of my favorite pants. I struggle to find like trousers or sweatpants or anything that are like long enough and these ones are the perfect length and they're super soft too which I really like. So I'm a big fan of these and these are both in the ivory color. Just when I didn't think I could love that little ivory moment enough, I threw on this mini light knit cardigan. So obsessed with this. I want to get this in like a million different colors now. It's giving like rich mom living in the Hamptons with her family of five golden doodle type of vibes. Like I'm living for this. I know it doesn't look like it, but I promise I got more than just creamy and white colored things. But this crew neck is so cute. I love how like big and oversized it kind of is. I got it in a medium, but I think it's supposed to run a little bit oversized anyways. And it's cropped, super, super lightweight of a crew neck. And my friend Rachel actually had it in black and I really, really liked it. And just like how lightweight it is too, especially here in Florida. So I got this in the white color and then I'll show you guys the black one as well. I was too indecisive of which one I would want. And I figured it'd be really cute with these um, sweats because I'm really into like the monochrome look right now. So I wanted it with this or I wanted the black on black with like all black leggings. So I couldn't decide, so I just got both. But you can kind of see it's in this like different style of material. It's not like any cottony material at all. I don't even know what it is, but I really like all the texture with it too. It's super cute. And then this is what that same crew neck looks like just in black. I do think I like the black a little bit better though, but both are super cute. And I just like love the material of this. I think I already showed you guys these, but the socks, amazing. If you guys don't have these from Aloe Yoga, definitely a good thing to like add to your Christmas list or if you're like a little stocking stuffer, they're so thick and like super comfy. I think I already showed you them, but just a little reminder. And then the last thing that I picked up in the haul was this Airlift Intrigue bra. These are one of my favorite styles of sports bras from Aloe Yoga. And I had the matching leggings already. And you guys know how much I love my matching set. So I wanted to pick up the bra to go with it. I'm gonna spend some time getting work done right now and prioritize editing. That's been a little bit of my downfall is I kind of procrastinated and then my videos go up pretty late, like nine or 10 p.m. and I don't like that. Ideally, I would love for my vlogs to go live either before 3 p.m. or like noon would be perfection. So I'm gonna work on doing that, make sure I have a thumbnail for this video. I just feel like there's so much I have to do and then like so little daylight. Like that's the problem is by the time I like finish up my morning and my workout, it feels like it's, or it's around like 1130 or noonish. And I'm like, holy crap, like that's half my day, half my daylight. It's already gone. So I need to just restructure my morning maybe a little bit. Cause the thing is, is I don't like waking up super early. Um, like I'm not a 5am, 6am wake up person. I wish I was, and I'm going to try to make that more of a goal. But I just feel like if I do that, I usually get so tired in the middle of the day. So if I can figure out something or a way that I can get up really early like that and not have a midday slump, then I'll definitely do that. I think it's because when I do get up that early, I tend to either have like some coffee or like a matcha like that early in the morning. And then I kind of hit that caffeine crash towards the middle of the day. So maybe if I like wait to have caffeine until 10 or 11 I wouldn't feel like sluggish in the middle of the day and obviously like prioritizing you know eight hours of sleep the things like that yeah that's what I'm struggling with I feel like the most is freaking packing all of the stuff that I want to do in like six hours of daylight it's so sad I didn't realize how much the daylight thing would affect me and I feel like it really really has just because I get tired probably at like 5 p.m and I look at the clock and I'm like it's 5 p.m. It feels like it's literally 8.30. And I'll like start getting ready for bed and everything. And then by the time I get in bed, I'm like, it's only 9.15 or it's only like 8.45. I feel like such a grandma, but whatever.
just drove over to Trader Joe's. Also, can we acknowledge the fact that my grow outfit is really strong right now? I love it though. I throw on a grow outfit and call it fashion. I also threw on some sunglasses because, man, these bags behind these sunglasses, too strong. Like I can't even, I just look so tired, it's not even funny. So we're hiding the face until I go into Trader Joe's, which I came here honestly for no apparent reason beside the fact that Trader Joe's is just like one of those places where I go just for the vibes, you know? It's so good. Like at home when I was in college, I would always go to Target. If I was ever stressed, anxious, boom, Target. Like that was my safe place. And Target just does not hit the same in Fort Lauderdale. I have like no rhyme or reason to even really be at Trader Joe's right now besides this whole fact that this account that I follow on Instagram, it's called Trader Joe's List. If you guys don't follow it, you need to, especially if you're obsessed with Trader Joe's because she always posts like the latest and greatest things at Trader Joe's, especially like all their seasonal stuff. And she posted this truffle hot sauce or not hot sauce, truffle soy sauce that I really want to try. And so instantly I'm like, I'm going to Trader Joe's. I just love it. Everybody's so nice. You know, we need more people like the Trader Joe's workers these days. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. It's time for a Trader Joe's haul. I'll unbag all my groceries and show you guys what I picked up. I didn't really get too many things because I didn't have to do a big stock up, but there were just a few staples that I wanted to pick up. So I sprinkled some more in there, of course. To start off, this is actually something new that I saw and I wanted to try. It's the Korean sweet potato glass noodle and veggie stir fry. I love glass noodles. There's a place called Bole and they have glass noodles and they're so good. And I wanted to try making this with like chicken or something. So I'll definitely be adding some sort of protein to this because it's just veggies and noodles and I need a little more spice with it. So I'll probably make this for like a quick dinner or lunch one night. And I just got these greens. It's the cruciferous crunch. I love to add this with some spring mix for a little more to my salad. I just feel like it beefs it up a little bit and add some more flavor. These chicken sausages from Trader Joe's are so good either for like a breakfast in the morning with eggs and like avocado or if you wanted to make a salad. I think I actually showed this salad recipe in a video. I either showed it in a video or a TikTok. I can't remember but it is one of my favorite go-to salads recently so I wanted to make it this week and it's so good so you just need these little sausages with it and then strawberries oh shit i forgot to get strawberries and then some whipped cream this is an essential for my iced coffee i haven't had it in a little bit and then some salmon really good with everything with the bagel seasoning on some toast and cream cheese if you're about that and for a snack of course some popcorn this trader joe's popcorn something about it it's just unmatched and some apples these dried apples i love to put in my oatmeal in the morning or just have them plain with like peanut butter really quick and easy some bananas a sweet potato for a salad that i want to make this week then the last two things i got were just um some sauces the organic coconut aminos i love using the seasoning with chicken tofu tempeh anytime i'm doing a stir fry dish I'll use this and then the reason why I went to Trader Joe's was for the truffle soy sauce. This sounds so good with that. So that's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put all of my groceries away and then make some dinner and get some work done. since I last vlogged I look like a crazy person right now and this lighting is not good but um I just put a face mask on I'll show you guys the mask that I did 
It's just the Matcha Magic Bosha Super Antioxidant Mask. It's so good. Except it literally makes me feel like Shrek with Botox in my face. Like I can hardly move my face at all. Even though it's 11.30, I still wanted to do my nighttime routine still because it's important for me to still do the things at night that just like help me unwind and little self-care habits to just stay in routine and stay healthy and consistent because I know with Vlogmas, like this first week, I really do understand like how stressful it is, especially just getting the videos up on time and I have spent hours and hours editing. Like I just spent four hours editing a vlog for tomorrow. So I definitely feel a little tired for that. Um, and it is already thrown off my sleep schedule. So I'm like, in order to just keep calm in the chaos, I need to fall back to my routines. That's literally what I always do. Like tea and reading at night has become like my literal new favorite thing. I love it. Um, but I'm going to make my tea, we're going to pick out day five, and then we'll head to bed. Oh man, you guys. It's hard because these aren't in order, so I'm always like, where is it? Oh, here we go. Supreme Matcha Green. Okay. You guys, this little tea, Avon Counter, is actually probably the cutest thing I've ever gotten in my life, and I'm so excited. All of the teas that I've had so far have been so good. I actually think I've had this one. It literally matches my face mask. Cheese. Um, I think I've had this one 